Hello! I'm Chris Kirkman, I'm Game Development Director at Greater Than Games and founder of Dice Hate Me Games, and this is Legends of Sleepy Hollow. We are about to do a playthrough of this game. We're not going to do a full rule set, but we'll talk about the rules as we play through it. If you'd like to know how to play Legends of Sleepy Hollow, we will have a full rule set and video available on the Kickstarter and at greaterthangames.com. So, I'm joined here by Matt Wolf. Hello. Lillian Hegman. Hello. And Josh Mills. Hello, everyone. And we will talk a bit about our characters in just a second. But for right now, we need to set the tone of what's happening here. Legends of Sleepy Hollow is a sequel to the Washington Irving short story, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And at the end of that book or short story, Ichabod Crane has gone missing under nefarious circumstances. Some speculate he might have ran away and tried to marry some rich woman in another country. Or they also speculate the Headless Horseman might have gotten him, or perhaps it was Brom Bones playing a trick. So what you're about to see here is the continuation of that story. Now, we'll, I'm going to put a big flashing spoiler alert up on the screen. This is chapter one of the full game. If you don't want to know what happens in chapter one, don't watch this video. <laughs> but you can watch enough of the video to get a, a, a feel for the playthrough. And then when we get to the real kind of spoilery parts where the, the secret things happen, we'll stop and give you another warning for spoilers and let you know. So we're about ready to play. Let's go through and talk about our characters a minute. Lillian here is playing... Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is... The tank. The tank. <laughs> Jeremiah is an undertaker. He's a grave digger. <laughs> uh, Jeremiah's specialty is getting right into the mix of things and using what I like to call shovel foo. He's got, he's using his shovel and he is really just going crazy in there. So he's, he's awesome. We've got Josh who's playing. Eli. Eli, Elijah, yep. Or Elijah. Yep. Which we'll call I like, Eli. I, I per, I per her <laughs> Eli. <laughs> Eli over here is our minister. He's a Dutch reformed minister and he is um, a little bit more of support, but he can do some really nice uh, area effect damage to foes, to those that are opposed to his faith. Now we have Matt, who's playing... Stereotypically, uh, Matthias Garou. Uh, <laughs> I am a war vet, and let me tell you, I've seen some stuff. You have. You are grizzled. Yeah. That is very true. You served in the Revolutionary War, and some, even that not many people in Terrytown and Sleepy Hollow know what you've done, or who you are, really, but some know and have heard rumors that you served with General, General Lafayette what? in the Revolutionary War. We'll see more of that as the story progresses. And myself, I am playing Emily Van Winkle, who is uh, the Tanner's apprentice. Her father is the, ta the town Tanner, and she's been hunting and tanning since she was very young. And she is very adept with a bow. So she's got a lot of range, uh, not a lot of health. <laughs> so we've got to keep her safe and out of range of the bad guys. Speaking of the bad guys and the foes, we have the, the schoolhouse, which is set up exactly like this. And we're going to talk about what happens in Chapter 1 right now. So you might want to read this besides me. It's all you. Okay. <clears throat> so you'll see here, this is setting up the story. This will be part of the storybook. Uh, these, again, everything you see here, this is pretty much the final map. Uh, the art you'll see of the Gobkins and the Shrick Roots and things, those are final, but there'll be miniatures in the final game, which you'll be able to see. But we're gonna read this. Chapter one, The Search Party. It's been days since anyone has seen Ichabod Crane. And with the strange whispers from townsfolk of creatures and ghouls lurking in the shadows, you're all fairly certain it was not Ichabod's skittish demeanor that sent him into hiding. Each of you were called to Sleepy Hollow for different reasons, but it has become clear that you all have the same purpose, to solve the mystery of Ichabod's disappearance and shine light on the darkness that has quickly enveloped the small town. You'd all arrived at the schoolhouse where Ichabod schooled the youth of the town. You have Katrina Van Tassel to thank for this first lead. She recalled Ichabod speaking of a particularly quiet but precocious student that he coaxed out of shyness by sharing a secret language. After befriending the student, Ichabod had said that she knew entirely too much about the supernatural superstitions that her Dutch grandmother spoke of from the old world. Katrina was certain that the journals they shared at the school might provide some insight. It was as good a place as any to start. Pushing open the schoolhouse doors, you found the interior ragged and nearly taken over by vines spilling through the windows and up through the floorboards. It was cold and the smell of rotting vegetation was heavy. Ahead, in the center of the room, something shambled slowly from the shadows. A mysterious and menacing figure of sinew and bark. Matthias unholstered two flintlock pistols and quietly muttered, Shrick Roots, guess we'd better get started. 
and with the sound of thudding boot heels and muzzle thunder, the search party was underway. So, that's us up search party for chapter one. We are at the schoolhouse. This is going to control some things during the, the game turn, which we'll cover as we start to do the playthrough. Our, journ our journey and has come here, and our goal is to discover somewhere in the schoolhouse the Ichabod's journal, the student's journal, take both of them to the desk and perform an environment action, and then we get to unveil legend deck card number 10 and see what happens with the rest of the story. We have to do all that without losing a party member. So if anybody gets incapacitated, we will... I'm ready to heal. Lose. Yes, I'm please. Ready to e heal. Eli, please e help e us. Eli. <laughs> Eliza, if you're his mother. If you're hey. fancy. Yeah, if you're fancy. Yeah. Right. So, we can go in any order we'd like to every turn. We just decide who wants to do what. We know that with these individual spots here are where we need to go and uh, search for the journals. We can split up, but we probably don't want to get too distance away from each other in case somebody gets in trouble. So who would like to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right. Matthias. Do you want to explain how a turn works? Sure. Yeah, quickly, during, during your turn, uh, the heroes, in whatever order they decide, will take action tokens, one action token in this instance, and then move it to a place. Then they can either move and take the action or do the action and move. In this instance, Matthias can move up to three spaces. So these are the general uh, spaces that, that are actions that Matthias can take. These are specialized actions that Matthias can take. When we start taking damage, we'll talk a bit about fear and how that works. All right. So I'm going to move to here. Okay. You guys all on board with that? Sure. I'm on board. All right. So I'm going to move to here. So at this point, I could either do an environment action in order to check out what this thing is, mm -hmm. or I could do uh, like a... Uh, I guess what is like an, an attack, attack action, mm -hmm, right? Yeah. Uh, to shoot at this thing. Does someone want to come behind me and check this out, and I do shooting, or does someone else want to shoot this thing? Because I don't really don't want it to attack. I mean, me. I will heal, so you should. I'm gonna be going and take the, the end of the base, so. Yeah, you're gonna be hitting that thing. All right, so I'll do an environment action then. So okay. I'm move my token over here. Let's see what we get. Number nine. Number so nine. Pick up the right. legend deck and don't look at the fronts yet. Don't look. Just find number nine. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. You'll see what you found. Oh! Hey! I got Ichabod's journal. All right, already. What? Piece of cake. Look at that. It's almost like it was rigged. It wasn't, by it the way. Wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It totally wasn't. It feels that way. It does feel that way right now. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that it was. No, I really didn't. No, yeah. none of us had any idea. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's my whole turn, right? That is your turn. Okay. Yeah. You have moved I'll, and taken your action. I guess I'll go next. Sure. Okay. So I will. Somebody get damage. I want to heal somebody. So that's up. Oh, you won't be Three. long. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will smash it with the shovel. Yep, whichever action you'd like to use your shovel with. Your shovel Just will do. Basic smash, I guess. So that's yep. two dice worth of you damage. You shovel well. You shovel really well. <laughs> <laughs> Four points. Ooh. Okay, so that shirk root has one point of damage left. You want to explain the dice? Yes, so the dice, yeah. We're tracking what damage is left with the dice uh, in this particular game, but in the final with the miniatures that will come with the game, they'll have these little wheels on the bottom that you just use to track the, the health really easily. Also, on our, our particular player boards here, we have a place for health, but it won't be that way. The, the heroes will have little bases as well that track their health. So, yeah, all this is prototype. We will not make you track the health with dice. That's kind of old school. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that is Jeremiah's action. So there you go, Jeremiah. Woo. Not bad. Now, you, Elijah, you have a really nice ability to poke things in the eye with one point of damage. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so and I don't know if you want to do that I or not. I very much want to poke and kill something right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move. One, two, three. Now, you don't, remember, oh. you got range, so you That's don't right. have to run. I don't need to do that. One. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. We'll go here. We'll go here. Right. Nice. And then we will eye poke <laughs> with wrath. With wrath for one. <laughs> There's one dead shirt. You did it! Yay! All right. Good That's job, team. Now, Emily, I, as Emily, I have two range with my bow, so I can reach a lot of different spaces, and I also want to keep my distance if at all possible. What I can do is move over here to stay with the group. And I can still target that shrick root there and still have enough move. Of course, I can move forward, but I can move even further if I wanted to. Or I could just go one, two, three, four and just do environment there if we don't want to shoot. What do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm for shooting stuff. 
How fast is that? Oh, but it's not going to move towards us because the bookcase is going to prevent Yeah, that's just going to move out. Yeah. This is going to come around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. shoot that thing. Shoot this one? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll move here to stick with everybody in the group. And I have a range of two, which is measured from uh, just orthogonal movement, the same as we are, so one, two. And I have a lot of sight because I can trace from this into that square, which means I can see the trick root. Now, I can either just ping it for two points of damage, or I can do a kill shot and kill it right off the bat. Kind of like... It's a kill shot. Yeah, let's do it. It's a kill shot. <laughs> All right, so this is one of my special abilities that I'm moving on to here right now, which means that I can only put one token on there until my player map refreshes, but for five points of damage, pow! Bam. Two Shrek Roots down. Piece nice. of cake. Okay. Uh, we'll see if that was too early. <laughs> so now it's the game's turn, and we'll do whatever is uh, going to happen on the play map. For this instance right now, whatever is revealed, which is move and attack. So all of the foes will move closest or closer to whatever their hero they're closest to. So Shrek Roots will move like this. The Gobkin will probably move here to get closer to open ground, and this Gobkin will move out like that. So that's it for that, because nobody has range, nobody can be attacked. Now the next turn we're going to have a move, we're going to spawn, so more uh, foes are going to show up on the board. But for now that's the end of the game turn, and now we can take our actions. Who would like to go? I, I go want to, I want to, I want to yeah, Do you want to see what that thing is? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah. environment, I'm okay. going to environment it. Environment. It's three. Number three. What is it? I don't know. Scared now. <laughs> I want it to be the other thing. All right. It is hemlock. Hemlock plus two health. It is an eldritch ring which <laughs> you can equip. So that's in your. Oh yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So you put it in your item. Nice. Yeah. It's yep. an item. So that is equipped now. So as of right now, uh, I don't know if we have any extra health over there. The little. Mm -hmm. Little squares somewhere, yeah. maybe. Yeah, there we go. Give Amazing. him two. Yep. Yeah. So now you have two more health. So you have a total nine health now, as long as you hold the Eldritch Ring. Beefy. Very beefy. Yes. If one of you guys need to. I'm just saying. Okay. okay. Do you want to move now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Move. You can move. Yep. One, two, three. Now you guys got to come save me. <laughs> <laughs> you still chuck. You got, I got nine health. What are you Gobkin, doing? Yeah. What are you doing all the way I over there? I got nine health. He's, Come on, man. He's fine. He's in the group. The tanks are on this side of the He can tank it up too. He's all right. Well, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Oh, no. I, th I was thinking there was a light. Oh, right no. There. That's no, a big no, no, square. No, yeah, they're coming right for you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> a, they're still going to come for you. That yeah. would, that, I don't, you yeah, don't but that remember, one. Gobkins have a range of one. One. Yeah. So, oh, so they will hit me. Even yeah. if you moved yeah. into the square, the Gobkin's still going to hit you. So you could gum the Gobkin up and, and keep keep this clear so we can kind of get out if we need to. That's what I feel like needs to happen. Well, there's going to be other people that are going to show up and help. I you. didn't mean to move your token up, but you, you can no, move your token You guys up. come in behind me and save me. All right. Seems good. This is on bait right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eli seems very needy. Yeah. <laughs> In retrospect, I would have just hit so, the corner. <laughs> <laughs> There's a possibility that something could spawn here this turn. So if anybody goes into that place, they kind of need to be able to take damage. I'm just saying. It's not going to be me. I'm not going to jump into that corner. I'll move over here and check out what that thing is. In okay. case that's something that we need. Sure. So this is going to be another environment yep. action. And card, card number one. one. Top of the stack. Oh, you found both journals. What? I'm what? amazing. I am amazing. Seriously, this isn't rigged. It is not rigged. No. This is just sometimes this happens. But we've still got to fight our way to the death. Right. So. Uh, and I'm probably going to get smacked quite a bit here in a minute. Because yeah, no, <laughs> no one's running and, behind And by the way, it's it's still people. Yeah, yeah. Chapter sure one is, is not a cakewalk, <laughs> but it's also not normally going to slaughter you. This is meant to introduce the mechanics of the game, normally. which is good. Normally. Sometimes you'll run into some... Weird spawns. So I'm going to equip students' journal. Sure, do it. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right, Jeremiah? Sure. Come on, come on. So one, two. You don't want to uncover that? No. Three. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, and then I throw it. Shovel down. punch that person. Do you, um, do you have range? No yeah. range. No yeah. range attack. I do not have yeah. range, but that's how much I like you. Man, do I have to go uncover that? I mean, I could, I could cause us to lose if I went here and it right. spawned on top of me. I'm just going to hang out right there for a minute. Here, I'll be very wild. Yeah, just, yeah. Probably, probably just run. Right? Yeah, probably. And I'll, I will run to join you guys. Uh, I can get to here next time. Yeah. So I'll just 
staying here because I'm not going to get attacked because this gobkin's going to go after Jeremiah. So you're going to shoot the I'm going to shoot the gobkin. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my power shot while I still can right now. One die plus two. So I've got an attack die here. So three damage to the gobkin, leaving the gobkin with seven. Okay, that's the game, or that's our turn. So the game turn, Gobkin's gonna move into here. Shirk group here. Oh, I forgot about them. Oh, Creeping. Yeah. I told you about them. I know, but I forgot. <laughs> so that's the move, now we're gonna spawn. So Josh, if you wanna roll one of those attack die there. Oh, now let's see. This... Come on, you can do but it. But I always wanna roll one. Roll zero, roll zero. Oh. Two, which means two Shirk roots. Yep. So here's two, roll this one for the first one. Four. Number four, okay, that's, that's not bad. Three. Three. No, that was wrong, Josh. <laughs> Roll better. Uh, okay, so now there will be an attack. The Gobkin will attack Jeremiah. The Gobkin has one die plus one attack. You want so, to talk about why it hits Jeremiah? Oh, right. So, in if it's in a space with multiple heroes, which is what this is, there's an attack priority here. So, there's only one Gobkin, so there'll only be one attack, and they'll go after the Undertaker first. That may change depending on what chapter we're playing, and also the difficulty level, which we'll talk about that later. So, uh, the Gobkin will attack. Jeremiah is going to get all up in Jeremiah's face. So that is one attack die plus one. So that's two points of damage. But Jeremiah, you can soak one with your heavy cloak. Oh, that's right. So I only lose one. But you do take fear. That's right. So this is something we have talked about. So fear, anytime you're attacked, no matter if you take damage or not, you are going to encounter fear. And that goes into your action pool. You cannot use fear for your special actions, but you can use them for the generic actions and other items like... Well, if you get an item that has a space, you can use it in. Uh, that also means it's going to take longer for Jeremiah to refresh. But anyway, that's the Gobkin's attack. Everybody else has moved. We've done our spawn. It's now our turn. This Gobkin still has seven points okay. of damage. Now, let's talk about it. Since we're in the space here, we're all engaged with this Gobkin. If we want to move away from the Gobkin, the Gobkin gets an opportunity attack. We roll a special, or we roll the attack die. If we roll anything but a blank, you'll take a point of damage running away, but you won't take fear, because you're running away. <laughs> <laughs> like a sissy. Yeah. It's shameful. All right, I guess I'll go. You gonna smash it? Yep. Okay, you gonna do, so what are you gonna do? I'm going to do wild smash. Wild smash, I love it. Just one dive for a times three damage. Yep, don't roll zero. Yeah. All right, six. So that gobkin has one point left, leaving Little Elijah to poke I him in the eyeball. This. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of monk are you? <laughs> <laughs> the best kind, he keeps killing things. <laughs> Battle monk. Well, he can't poke in the eyeball now. Yeah, you can. How? You got wrath. Oh, okay. Those buckets can Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right, that's right. I was, I want to do my super move, but you guys don't get hurt enough. <laughs> um, I'll try harder, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> well, we kind of found the journals really fast. Yeah, so. yeah. So well, don't worry, we're gonna it's gonna be I'm gonna poke him in the face. Pop! Yeah. Alright. <laughs> and then I will move up to three. Oh, there's like becoming less safe places to That's go. That's true. <laughs> I believe in you. You can just go explore. I'm gonna go one, two, three and hide out in this little room. Okay. I think I'll be alright. Those both of those are gonna move towards you then. It's they can move towards me, they're not gonna do nothing to me though. <laughs> He's actually leading them off. That's fine. He's helping. Yeah, he's helping. Yeah, and then you guys run to the, you run up through it. Okay, well, uh, so Jeremiah, you didn't move. You stayed here. Did you want to move after you attacked? No. Okay, that's fine. I don't know. My uh, but I don't want to stay here probably. I want to get into... Actually, can I move there? Because sure. I want to keep this clear for Absolutely. Matt to come through. Yeah, I mean, the Gobkin's going to move in, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, then if that's the, if I stay here, I will be attacked by a Shrek root. I really don't want that. I'm going to be in that space though. Oh, that's true. You're going to have it locked up. So mm -hmm. I'll just stay here. Um, let's see. So Feel I, free to shoot that thing. I'm going to. Uh, the only thing I have left though is my hunter shot, which only does two damage. So that's going to leave it with three. Better than zero. Right. Yeah, but you're going to be able to attack it. Yep. All right. So first I go one, two, three, and then I am going to... There doesn't seem to be any difference between nope, those two. Nope, those combine. Though this two is on top two, of this. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep yeah. that for one That's word. probably good yeah, idea. Yeah, go on against that pumpkin. Your hip shot's probably fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
So this is these dice are the same as yep, these, right? Yep, same one. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, I did one damage. Well, that's okay. It happens sometimes. Yeah. Flintlock pistols are yeah. unpredictable. It was it was some wet uh, saltpeter. That's right. It sounds like, like you need to shoot better. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mr. Monk, why don't you teach me? <laughs> I'm killing stuff. <laughs> Oh, this moved, by the way, at the end of last turn. So we're only going to have a move and attack this round. So we're going to move, we're going to move, move. Mm, this will make me move, less comfortable that. now where I went. Yeah. So <laughs> let's, let's have the Gobkin be facing off against Jeremiah here. Who wants to roll damage for the Gobkin? Anybody? I'll do I'll it. I'll leave you guys. Okay. Three points of damage to Jeremiah, which is two, because you soak one. And a fear. Is it three? Because it's plus one for a Gopkin. Oh, Two plus oh, one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. By the way, the rule is, and Jeremiah is able to soak this a little better, the rule is you take three or more damage from one opponent in a turn, you'll get two fear instead of one. Mm. So that can be bad. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay, so we got the Shrick Root. Who wants to roll for the Shrick Root? Well, it's tagging me, so I guess I'll roll for Go for me. it. Someone else roll. Two points of damage. <laughs> you roll, just switch the rolls right. you Here is your fear. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the game turn. Now we are able to go. And this slides over, right? Yep. Thank you. So uh, it, I'm, if someone is able to kill this and allow, I can right now, and allow me to move out, yeah, then I'll I can it. do some damage I'll to do the it right now. King I'll just there. go ahead and take my action and shoot it. It'll Sweet. With my I'm gonna hunter shot. I wanna flip this thing and over. And I don't okay. Thank I'm you. not gonna move. I'm gonna stay right where I'm at. Thank you, Emily. I, You're very I welcome. It. You're not gonna by the way, it's a, uh, a little bit of a inside joke for uh, State of Games podcast fans that Chris is playing a character that is using a bow. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm an archer. <laughs> we actually took a reference shot uh, earlier today we're not, out on the back. We're not yeah. going to talk about what I just picked up. What did you just pick up? Don't is it a spawn? It's you a did. spawn. Yo, what are you doing? Oh, it's a Shrek root. Come but on. it's still like I, ah. that does the opposite of what I wanted to happen. <laughs> did you move to your environment actually? Oh, I didn't know these things could be I, bad. Oh, no. Yeah, that's my environment action. <laughs> I was just charging ahead, checking those things. I but now if I run away, oh, no. I get popped in the head, don't but I? only for one, right? When you what? run away, it's one. If I run away. If you run away, one, you could take a damage, yes. But it's only and, one. And it's no only fear, one. So no fear. Yeah. Well, I have to, or I'm going to have three, three roots. Oh, that's a special trick where you can kill you if you run away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One, that two, might happen one. later. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They get really brutal. Two, yeah. And you're going to... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, roll one it. die. Oh, all right. See if you take damage. Oh, is that two different ones? Yeah, you'll take one point of damage. It's fine. Yeah, I don't think you're fine with it's the other thing on there. What's that? What's is that, that two different? Am I, am I straddling two different rooms? No, that's that's one square. It looks a little weird because of the crease there. Okay. It's just the prototype. Wait. Way. No, it is square. It's two squares. You're right. You're here. Oh, that is two squares. It is two squares. Oh, oh, oh I okay. could have moved in. No, it's not. It's one. It's one. Because the anytime there's a transition, there's a transition into which way the floorboards move. Ah. Which okay. is why we made it so it'd be clear. Huh. These are going to be interlocking tiles, by the way, in the actual game. What tiles? Yeah. Fun. Fun. <laughs> All right. All right, Jeremiah. It's down to you and me. Do you want me to move in there first and attack? Or do you want to attack that thing? I first? just want somebody will, to be in there. I will try to murder it <laughs> to see if you can do the desk action thing. So I'm gonna do my how many hit points? He hasn't been hit he at has all. Ten. He has not been hit. Okay, then I will do my practice smash. Two die two plus dies. two damage. Roll big. Roll bigger. Roll home. Ooh. All right. So four points left. Oh, because it's plus two. Yeah. Two die plus two. So four plus two. No. So that Gobkin has four points left. Do you want to stay in that square? I imagine you probably do. Yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. I believe in you. I, I, I can feel the, the love, <laughs> so I'm going to come join you. So I move into here. Oh, yes. Now remember, you have a range of one, so you don't necessarily have to. No, but it's fine. I'm kill it. I can okay. super heal everybody if they're in the same square. Right. That's true. <laughs> so, so I'm going to yep. do the steady shot. Okay. So this is going to be two dice plus, two, plus two, so base of two damage. Right. So don't roll zero. There you go. So that's four. So, so he's dead. Dead Gopkin. Yeah. I rolled one zero. I didn't roll multiple. So it's okay. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Uh, that's everybody, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have move, spawn, and attack. So we got a move and a move. And a move. And then spawn. And then move. And let's roll spawn. Uh, Lillian wanted to roll spawn. Matt's rolling so well. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm yeah, rolling zero. You're doing well. You're so. doing well. 
Yeah! Oh. So one god can it. respond. Yeah. Nice love me. Right. <laughs> Three. That's yes. about the best place he can spawn. All right. I love these loaded dice. <laughs> <laughs> We've totally rigged this game, by the way. <laughs> the dice are loaded. The, the chips we are just loaded. roll till we get what we want. That's exactly right. kind of the rest. They don't have any range, so there's nothing to do here. So Matthias, what? you want you want to heal us? First? I want to heal. Yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, heal I want to use my. Oh wait. Oh, I don't. I don't have any heals. I don't have any health. I don't want to be in the square anyway. Okay. No, that's fine. Go ahead. Heal everybody here, else. Somebody... Else that so indecisive. S somebody <laughs> do this first so it. Because I can I'll deal do three damage and heal you, it. so if you accidentally right. spawn right, somebody. So I'm going to jump in here and okay. then I'll do an environment. Oh, I get a refresh too. Nice. So, my, but, so basically, that's what happens when you no longer have here and you need to place out. You'll refresh back to your pool, which gives you your cool stuff back. And I'll do an environment here. And it's number nine. Oh, number six. six. Sorry. Now, the thing to remember about this, too, is that you can rush through it, but there might be good stuff out here because you get to keep things between chapters. Which is an old chair! It has a range of one, and it can do five damage, but you discard it refresh. So you're basically just smashing something with a chair. <laughs> Throwing a chair yeah. at, at, at the pumpkin king. At the pumpkin king. Yeah, pretty yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take... I'm not going to move. I'm going to use my... Sweet special. So in one area, three heal all allies and three damage all foes. Woo! Sweet. Oh that is the cleansing that. right, and that is oh, yeah. Elijah's right. big. That's his yeah. big thing. I, I feel so. Right? I feel so, so cleansed. So oh. <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Jeremiah, do you want to do something before Matthias goes and does the environment action? Uh, well, I mean, so I obviously need to stand in over here. And, and hit them. Nah, nah. Well, you'll, you'll have range. You'll Sorry. have to get it. You're going to jump in there? Why don't you look at one of those token things? Because, like, I'm going to go into the desk and we're going to win. Or so, you could you could skip the desk and just go over to five for a minute. <laughs> well, See, this why is, would I do this that? This is the tank. This is the tank talking. And this is exactly what Christopher Vidal did the first time I showed him this one, too. He's like, we got to clear the board. Go over there and get stuff. I'm not going to say clear the board, but yeah, I'm but, just going to say if there is... We found a chair and a sweet ring. I, it's, right, it's, the world is our oyster. Oh, don't right. you want to Time out. I didn't move. So I'm oh, going to yeah. go over here. <laughs> nice. Or, yeah. One, two, three. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang out there. Oh, okay. well, if you're All just right. going to abandon me like that. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, why not get some sweet equipment, maybe? You don't right. need the heels. Well, how about, how about you and Emily go check stuff out? Because we can trade stuff, worst case, right? Like... Oh, yeah, in between chapters, we can always trade things just whatever we want to do. Item-wise, anyway. That moves, right? We're, we're not oh, yeah, you were back. We're back. Yeah. Yeah. Don't okay. double spawn. I know. That would be... That would, yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, so I could go, like, one, two, a new environment? Yep, yeah, but it would be, you'd get an um, oh, opportunity get attack from two opportunity attacks you have from okay. Shrink Roots. Which, I mean, you can take, but... I mean, I healed, healed you. Wanna, That's I true. You're <laughs> tank. It's time again. to, like, go roll in and bust, bust some shuffles. I don't know. So Matt seems to think I should go get go get book things. What do you guys think? It's up to you. I want you to smack bad guys. <laughs> I mean, you're built to smack bad guys. That's all I'm saying. But you do get to, to take equipment into the next chapter. It's true. So you could go get something there are, cool. There are equipments right here. So I mean, there are. Do it. I'm, I have to do it. Yes. I'm a tank. I have to hit things. So you're gonna, That's what I do. You're gonna <laughs> smash. Smash it with the shovel. Okay. So go so, ahead and use your action tokens first because you can theoretically clear fear. Okay. Oh, actually, no. It it's only heal. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. Okay, so I'm going to smash it for two dice damage. Okay. Yes. If you roll two zero, this would be very disappointed. I know. I'd be disappointed. <laughs> me too. It's called a bust Three. shovel. All right. So this recruit has two <laughs> points left. Chris can just th just throw a chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I guess we're going to be greedy in this uh, chapter here, so I am going to go... I would just like to point out to yes, everybody really yes. quickly that Matthias is about to be attacked by three Shrek Roots. Now... Who? I mean, not Matthias. Jeremiah. Jeremiah is about to be attacked by three Shrek Roots. I mean, that's not Which, he can, he can soak it, but I'm just saying, if we're it's... going to be greedy and somebody's not going to kill off a Shrek Root... Well, you're going to shoot things and you've got your mm -hmm. magical whatever. I've already moved. I did the environment action here. Oh, okay. And I already went... 
Everybody's I, already going search for Matthias. That's fine. I trust. I trust okay. that Jeremiah right. is going to be able to be, be our tank. So You're I'm going right. to go here. I'm going to do an Jeremiah. empire worm. Yeah. Do you know there's a traitor in the <laughs> <laughs> There's funny, not. Funny you should mention that, though. <laughs> so so I'm going to reread some cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a loose chain. I will be equipping the loose chain. Right. So okay. this gives me, uh, in, within one area, I have a range of one, and I can do three damage to all the foes. Uh, but then I have to discard it uh, right. when I refresh. Yep. Okay. That's it. So the game turn will happen. The shrink root moves into here. Yep. I've got a shrink root here. Gobkin moves out. And that's everybody. But there's going to be a lot of throwdown going over here. Ouch. Explosions. You can do it. All right. Let's see what happens. So Wait. shrink root number one. I'm not rolling. I'll roll for it. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Shrink root number two. Go for it. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. So, so take two. Cheers. Traitor. <laughs> There's a fear. <laughs> Matt, you roll for the final one. Right. Don't do what I did. Uh, so, zero. Yep. But you did get attacked. So. That's fine. You're very scared. <laughs> but I hide it that well. Yes. You're hiding Under it Under my well. gruff exterior. Yeah, you're like, I'm not scared. Let me just walk in with all these enemies. <laughs> you're, you're repressing your fear right okay. now. Okay. It is uh, our turn. So you guys slide the... Oh, yeah. Slide that over. Sorry. So, do you guys want to get some equipment now before I rush to the desk? I mean, I'm going to flip my thing. Or, oh, I reset because uh, yeah. I saw my things. I will also be resetting. I'm not going to reset anytime soon. I'm going to do an environment. No. No. I'm going to do an environment. If you can flip right here? Over. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Ooh. Nah, uh, I mean, I already did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cross of Iron Will. Nice. Yes. Now, you can only have one thing equipped at a time. Listen. So, that <laughs> needs to go into your inventory because you can only swap your inventory at the beginning of your turn. Ah, okay. But I can go give it to somebody. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because I can and I can give it to them when I move into the space they're in? But you have to take an environment action to do it. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, I'm going to just move to here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Actually, in case I need to heal, I'm going to go right there. All right, well, I'm going to stand right here, and I'm going to do a kill shot on one of those shrink roots. Yeah. Cool. Great job. <laughs> I feel High good about quality. that. Feel good about that. Alright. I guess so, I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. Do, well, here. do you wanna get one of those pieces of equipment before? Yeah, do that because then Matt's gonna go in. Yeah. Okay. There's gonna be two opportunity oh, attacks, but that's okay. It's fine. She's so, tank. So I tank. Well roll roll attack die for each. So roll zero. That's one point. That's not zero. Okay. And I don't just It's not as soaked. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the opportunity attacks are not I'm soaked. Rolling. And one more point. Alright. Why am I probably? Okay. So if you like we're in chapter three, you would be dead. I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure if I was in chapter two, I'd be dead. Okay. Don't spawn nothing. It, oh, it's, it's a death. No. Oh, oh no. Is it a gobkin? It's it is a, a gobkin. gobkin. Yeah. It goes here. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Spawns right there. Because you're like, what's this? Uh oh. I don't mean to alarm anyone, but Jeremiah's in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> but we're gonna win instantly when I go to the desk, right? Don't ask me. I'm I'm part of the game. No, we gotta find so out. We don't know, man. We don't, we don't know. know. You just we know you're gonna uncover number two. To go to the desk. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought that was. I thought that. Was, so we don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. No. Okay. So every, everyone's gone. Right? Yes, everybody has gone. No. All right. So I am gonna. I'm gonna die. One, two, <laughs> three. It's fine. I can heal you. I'm just far away. So my environment so action real is. Real quick, though, Matt. Yeah. Yes. If if you don't. If you could kill one, that'll well, be less. You can't take an environment action. Yeah, I, I, if you, well, I can't trigger the but, end of the chapter. But I'm just saying that would keep her from dying. It's true. I'm saying if we, if I die, and, it's and we better lose. to keep her from dying than maybe us die. Because you'll be able to kill this recruit <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And so Jeremiah's got a system. He's he's got to live through four four damage. That's not super good. No. It's not, not looking good if I take three hits. You <clears throat> took a lot so, of hits. But you're only going to take hits if this card like says that the game keeps going, right? Yes. And we don't we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen. But we're probably going to lose if it doesn't end the game immediately. All right. The all safest right. bet all right. all right. is to kill. So, I will I will go to that room there. Use your barrage. Oh, you need to leave that one on the thing. Can, no, oh, oh no, sorry, I just, you just played that. Yeah. Um, There's a chance you could kill both recruits with Barrage. 
Because you get one die plus one damage plus two damage. So it's one die plus three damage to all foes in that area. Or I could do three damage. Or you could do chain. you could do a flat three, yeah. You should But that's that doesn't stack on top doesn't of stack. This. No, no only only your equipped weapon. Probably yeah. using a loose chain sounds pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance yeah. that he could kill both of the strict yeah, yeah. All right. Come so on, here comes zeros. Um, nah. So this one's dead, but this one has one point left. That was not Because that was four total damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that was still pretty good. At least you was think that was a safe. It, I think it was a safe play. I think this way I probably won't die now. So now we got move and spawn and attack. So we've got... Oh, spawn. Ew. So, question though. Yeah, I know. It's equidistant. What? Oh, Attack it, priority. Okay. Yep. Making sure. Yep. Jeremiah is always going to get leaped on. So, so if Jeremiah dies, I just want to point out. <laughs> then you guys can move to the, to the desk. I will flip the table if Jeremiah dies. <laughs> Uh, here, here's the spawn roll. I don't. One, so two is two shrink roots. So okay, not shrink four. Root one. Not four. Five. Five. That's that's not, not good. great. That's fine. Four. Four. That's that's also fine because you can't get through. You can't get through it. Right yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's fine. All right, so now we have attacks. Let's do the shrink root first. Okay. So it's one die. Oh. Who wants to roll four? I'll roll. All right, Josh, roll low. Roll low. But that so was one, that, point. one point. That was a weak roll. And yeah, it was a fear. That was a, a Ben Pinchback grandma roll. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there another one? Yeah. This was gonna be a proper roll. So one more point of damage. Okay. So <laughs> Jeremiah right. lives, but Jeremiah's at six fear right now. And, and ten is the threshold. Ten is the ten threshold. Is the yes. Can I give my fear to you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you. I take your fear. I take your fear. One, okay. two, three. Ooh, I'm gonna go. You are okay. Because I can go. Me? One, two, three. You're gonna get right in the middle of it? Yep. And oh, then, you're gonna do your cleansing right? Yeah, I'm gonna do oh, cleansing. Yeah. Yeah. So you get three health, I get three health, and they all take three damage. Yep. Nice. So that's so trick root dies. And seven. I mean, for, be, for healing people, right. I'm killing a lot of guys. Oh, no, no. That's so, Elijah's fun. A lot of support characters are not that fun to play, but that's why we wanted to make Elijah no, this a lot is, of fun. This is good stuff. Yeah. Oh, and oh, you can, can have this. Well, no, you have to take it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next turn, you can. Sure. <laughs> All right. Shh, the rules won't ever know. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys want to do any loot stuff before I rush the desk? Because I'm, I think I'm we're, doing it this turn. I think yeah, we're just, good now that people have life. This moves. Sorry. Have health and stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, but you got like, like Chris. You don't want to see what that is and see if you get some cool equipment. I could. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sure, this is gonna spawn. It's gonna be so probably. terrible. It's probably gonna be a spawn. Oh, some person nope. we don't it's four. know. I hope it's another chair. Oh, that's it right there. Poison! No, it's a rabbit's foot. <laughs> so the Poison, rabbit's you're foot, dead. <laughs> when attacking, you may reroll one die. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That's a permanent when you have it equipped. When you have it equipped, yeah. yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. All right, uh, Jeremiah, do you wanna do anything else before I? Go uh, I mean, insert the two journals into the secret slots in the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well smash it. Might as well it. smash it. Yeah. yeah. So that's two dice. Oops. We're so yep. scared right now. Two I'm dice. here for you. You're shaking, Sorry. but that's okay. I'm, here I'm for always you. shaking. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Come on. That's three <laughs> damage. That's, that's the worst there. thing that's ever happened. Nope. Still fine. So it's at two. It's at four. Oh, boy. All I right. See. Okay, Matthias, here Come we on, go. Matthias, you can do it. So, environment. Yep, and so we'll take draw 10. number 10 and see what it says. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Unexpected guest. The journals contain str strange code, but a note on the desk has the key. As you are translating, the doors burst open and a crazed Brom Bones lurches through. Get away from those! If you want the journals, it looks like you're in for a fight. All spawns plus one Shrick root, and now we open envelope one. Ah! <laughs> so, open envelope one. So well, Shrick roots and all spawns. No, no, no. Whenever it spawns, yeah. whenever there's a spawn, it basically means there's plus one Shrick root oh. to every spawn result. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. So envelope one. Oh. Spoilers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, spoilers, spoilers right before oh, this. Yeah, we, we'll, I'll yeah. flash it. We'll like flash like it. Mega, okay. mega spoilers. Mega spoilers, spoilers right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. Envelope one. All right, so there's a little clear stand right over there. And we can, do we look at this? Yep. 
spawns on area one. Brown bones. Brown bones. Defeat to close the chapter. His health is uh, 12. Ah. Oh. His range is two and his attack is two dice. Mm. Who has a bow and arrow? <laughs> That's me. Can you please shoot <laughs> at oh, him? Well, we, he gets, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the game gets to go now. No. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got to move. Pretty sure that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> that seems wrong. Cause I'm gonna. Well, at least I healed you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, this he moves is. Moves two as well. Moves yeah. two. Yes. yes. This is bad news. Okay, so he's got a range of two, so he'll be able to hit Matthias. And we've got Yikes. a gobkin in here, which will attack Jeremiah. He's, so these journals are full of lies. <laughs> <laughs> you get to keep them because you might need them later. I don't know if I want them. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's do Jeremiah first. So the Gopkin is going to attack Jeremiah yep. for Nothing. one, because wow. it's one die plus one, yeah. Okay. And here's a fear for you. Crazy. Number seven. We have to defear you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can, you know what? We're, we're cool. And now Braum, Just don't die. <laughs> Braum's attack is two dice at two range for Matthias. What? Three points of damage and a fear. Um, I disagree. <laughs> I just. Strongly objects. I refuse. <laughs> I, I saw it. I know that uh, two, fear is only in the mind. Five, six, seven. seven. And that's it. So that'll be that. So we'll, they, we'll, if we do not defeat Braum this turn, we will have a spawn next turn. And we'll have all those extra Ooh, shrick, yeah. shrick roots. Now the problem is I'm up trapped over here in this corner with this shrick root. It only hits you for one though. If I run through it, yeah. Oh, you could hit Braum from there. I can. Actually, no, I don't have a range three. This is a range three. Oh, sorry. I have a range two. I can only s hit something for one. <laughs> but I feel it's probably, I mean, I'm not gonna get hit moved into the square. It's when I leave a square with an enemy. It just means it's gonna be an opportunity attack on my enemy next turn. Emily sh sh usually should never get hit. <laughs> but sometimes you might have to do it. For the good of the land. So right now, the opportunity attacks for the attack, Tanner's at the bottom, so. Uh, the Shrick Root, no matter what you do, if you move here, if you attack, whatever, this is going to come in and Braum's going to focus on you or if Jeremiah comes out. So I might as well move here and focus on Braum. So I'll do this and I'll do my power shot on Braum. One die plus two damage. So four points. So he's got eight points left. Great. Alright, one third. One third down. Oh, I could have used my old chair if I'd have gone one more square. <laughs> All right, power meters. Just and I can heal or calm anybody I want. Within range. Um, with... Well, they're well, well within range. Oh, with blessing? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so they all were... I'm going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to heal, heal three and calm three. Yes, that's perfect. Because you are... I'm scared mess. out of your mind. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Right? Okay. Thank By the you. way, don't ever go in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you, see, I, everybody's saying I've that made now. Bad choices. Only because you didn't know what was gonna happen in environment action. <laughs> yeah. So. Poor choices. Yep. Poor okay. Choices. So it's Matthias and me left. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I can yes. move. Oh yeah, you could. Move. Yeah, you could move. You'll. It'll we might take a point of damage, but. Uh. Well. Yeah. You maybe want to try oh, but it's to gonna come shield here, so you probably wanna get the out. rest of us, right? Because I only have three health left. Yeah, Matthias is not in good shape. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking about just, just. I think you might want to rest instead of doing anything. I don't know. Rest well, I mean, if if Elijah moves to here, that means nothing's gonna get me. That's right? true. So Brom will engage with I, Elijah. I could, actually, I could move into here and shoot. How many do I take from him? Just one. Just one lady. No fear. No fear. I don't want fear. I'm not a scaredy cat. <laughs> so I'm gonna go one. Take one. One punch. To well, you roll and see. You might not. No, it's gonna be one. <laughs> see, look at that. Ah. You get <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I will go here. Okay. And I am going to so brave. just hang out. You're so brave. I am an idiot. The most, the most brave. I'm an idiot that has a lot of You're life. selfless. You're the minister. I'm selfless. You're selfless. If right. you let me die, guys, I would be <laughs> so dead. We'll see what happens. Oh, so Matthias, this is where rolling threes comes along. And... No, uh, 
I have a goal. Yeah, Jeremiah. Oh, has Jeremiah a goal. has a goal. Yeah, okay. yeah. Elijah was just finishing up. Gotcha. His, his oh, I should have went. I should have let you go first if you're gonna hit. Him. It was a very leisurely oh. stroll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like, hey guys. <laughs> so should I do that or should I just go over here to also be in the way? If you're in the same squares, nope. So no. what's gonna happen is if you were in this square, uh, the attack priority goes from the strongest to lowest, no matter what's happening with foes. So Braum would move in, would focus on Jeremiah first, then the Shrek group would focus on Elijah. And we want them to focus on me. Right. And then you, basically, we want everybody to come focus on me, hit me, and then you guys all come in and yeah. hit them Right hard. now, yeah. you're pretty tanky, and you don't have any yeah. fear, so. Right. Yeah. So I should hit him then, mid to stage? Yeah, then? just smash him. Okay, so. It's two dice. I don't know why it's dead. Dead! Look See, at that. Yeah. Boom. Nice you, oh, we should have had you do that first. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's okay. I rolled a zero. It Learning game. Yeah. yeah. It rolled a zero. It doesn't even so, matter. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there? No. Because oh, so, you will be targeted. So should I move forward? Well, you just... could move here, but the Shrek Root's going to engage you. It's just it's up to engage... you. Oh, it's... It's not going to reach you there. So I should stay here. Yeah, it's probably fun. Okay. Yeah. Go okay. in there and pick that up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we thought that I, was fun? I learned my lesson. <laughs> so, so you're saying if I move in here that the Shrek Root is going to target me because Braum is going to... No, it's going to... Okay, it's a, yeah, actually, if you move into there, Braum will move into there with you as well, mm -hmm. and then Braum will target Elijah, and the Shrek Root will target you. Okay, and I only have three health, so I probably don't want to move in there. But I really wanted to, because then I'd be able to shoot Braum. Yeah, I would. I know you want to shoot Braum, but it's risky. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. So maybe rest then. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to. So I'll get two health back. Yeah, I think that's the smart move. Yeah, and I don't care about the fear at this point, because I don't think we're gonna have enough time to yeah. refresh actions. So. Probably not. Yeah. But you never know. And you've still got your steady shot left with an action mm -hmm. token. So, okay. So that's everybody's turn. Now we've got. The regular, so Shrek Root. No. Oh, actually, Rom. I am going to use a fear to do that instead. I want to say yep. that action. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so oh, there's no. Brom, Gobkin, the Shrek Roots engaged with me. We'll be fine, Josh. Now we have a plus one on the spawn rolls for Shrek Roots. Oh. So it's going to be three Shrek Roots. Okay. So do the honors, Josh. Elijah. Oh. All right, Josh. Roll again. Oh, right. Three. No. Four. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, okay. Three. Three. That's a good Three. one. 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 That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to get out, right? Or, or, no, no way. Well, I mean, mean you gotta, who who's, knows who's to kill this guy? Uh, right. Right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So now we do have a situation, though, because the Gobkin can reach. So Elijah's going to get hit twice. Oh, fun. Um, he killed out, though. He's actually, fine. yes, because it's Elijah. Elijah. Oh, actually, Elijah's gonna hit three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. This up. is gonna be bad. It's gonna be real. Yeah, you're, okay, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, fine. All right, let's do me with the Shrek Root first, just to get that out of the way. So Shrek Root has one die damage. I take one point of fear. I'm okay. I have nine life. So. All right, Brom. Brom has can, two I can dice. die. <laughs> two dice. Here we go. Do you want to roll? No. Roll for it. You don't want to roll? You don't want to be in. I don't want to be the. You don't want to be the decider. Oh. Oh. Wow. Who let you roll? Yeah, I'm not rolling anymore. Four points and a fear. Mm. <laughs> uh, Matt, why don't you roll for the Gobkin here? It's one die plus one. Roll a zero. That's a two. That's, that's yeah. a three. That's a three. Total. That's three. You could die here, and uh, and here's a fear. Okay, remember the, the plan? The Shrek Root has a one die. Remember the plan when I went to go tank? <laughs> you got it, Josh. No! Your own, it's your own fate. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't Come take on. it. Come on. Come on, come on. Yeah! All right. Nice now we what? got. To, now we got to take care of Brom so that doesn't happen again. <laughs> All right. That was scary. I was like, no, not like this. <laughs> All right. All right. So I've got an old chair. I'm gonna bash Brom in the head with my chair. That is a good idea. <laughs> I, can, I can actually do three damage to everyone that's in there. Uh, if you do that, and I do the chair. Brom's dead. Let's yeah. do it. Do it. One, two, punch. But I will, I will also do three damage to Elijah. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I would like to punch him once. Now, one thing <laughs> I'm about to show, because we're, we're about to come to the conclusion, fear, and this is going to have a different symbol on it, it has the little starburst, can be used in items. 
Uh, normally, when you have this circle, it, it talks about action tokens, but this has the circle, and the other one, new one, has the starburst in it. So this can be used for an old chair like this, which is range one, which I'm range one away, so that bashes him down to three. I'm gonna hit him for one. Okay, poke him, <laughs> poke I him in the eye with of one, it. there we go. And then coup de gras. Well, in that case. Or do you want, so, real do quick, you want to go do something? I, I understand that, but, but you still could die because it, if it doesn't end right, right? Because if it doesn't end, he could die. The, ah! No. Yeah. <laughs> you, want, no. Yeah, you want to do some healing or something? You got anything I will wait until you guys punch people. Okay, so is he at three then, actually? He's at three. He's at okay. three. Not to steal your thunder, I just... Okay. No, it's smart. So, I was just ready to punch. I, I just want to punch him. So, so I will use... The, you uh, could keep your loose chain, because it goes from chapter to chapter. Your steady shot will do at least two damage, and as long as you, you got two dice, as long as you don't roll two zeros... You got that. And then I can always, he clean, can up always one. clean up if he wants to. All right. Yeah. You got I'll it. I'll remember you talking me into this when this... Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> catastrophic yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six total damage, right? All right, so Brahm is down. And um, two on the other thing. Oh, yeah, two on the shrimp root, which has three left. Now that um, right no, here? it should, should be at two left, right? Because I did six total damage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're absolutely right. Well, no, that's steady shot. It was not barrage. It was only one person. Steady shot. You chose. Oh, wrong. oh, yeah. okay. not the chain. Gotcha. So, okay. So now that is the defeat to the closed chapter. He's defeated now. So you open the end of chapter one envelope. <clears throat> so exciting. I didn't hear. Would you like to read that since you did the coup de gras? Sure. Beaten and bloodied, Brahm fell hard against a shelf and then lurched through the schoolhouse doors out into the cold twilight. As he fled, he laughed maniacally. So I don't know why I do a maniacal laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful, thank you. And Beautiful. reeled his head around, eyes filled with panicked energy. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Foley artist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fools don't know what you've done. He is going to make you pay. And with that final shout, Brom disappeared into the darkened woods beyond the road, leaving all of you tired and bewildered. The translated passages in the journals spoke of hex circles, which only Elijah seemed to know much about. I know what's up. A map in the back of the student's journal was even more helpful. It showed a trail at the edge of town leading out into the deep woods. Elijah bowed his head and cleared his throat. You want to read that, Josh? Mr. Elijah? <clears throat> Never ignore a clear sign. I don't know what he sounds like. I didn't think <laughs> Our path has been revealed. <laughs> walking, walking along the road to the edge of town, you couldn't but help but notice the vines and vegetation from the schoolhouse slowly creeping deeper into the surrounding woods. With the threat of more of these creatures around every corner, you all figured it might be best to get some rest, reflect on the battle, and perhaps procure some better gear. So each player may choose to upgrade a skill or take an equipment slash proficiency upgrade. If you choose to take a new skill, you must discard one of your current skills as, as you are not yet able to learn a third skill. Upgrades. Okay, so uh, this, again, spoiler, but this is kind of the upgrades that come. <laughs> real big. Big spoilers. <laughs> and then here is yours. So um, each of us have some different things, and these are still being adapted a little bit uh, word-wise and equipment-wise. But like, for instance, for me, I've got some things that I can choose from here. I can choose to upgrade my lucky shot here. So what lucky shot allows me to do is I get one die plus two damage, but I can reroll one of the dice, yeah, which yeah. is actually better than my power shot. So I could take my power shot out of that slot and upgrade the lucky shot. Or I could choose to upgrade uh, weapon proficiency of takedown or lead the prey, which is another weapon proficiency which slides into this slot here. And that will actually give me plus one damage to my bow, which will give me more damage when I shoot things. Or takedown, which is I get to knock down foes with my bow, which means I, whenever I shoot something and I get a successful hit, they get knocked over and can't move that turn. So I can slow things down. So this is a way to start to craft your character as the chapters progress and make it different. Like for instance, Elijah's got Vengeance, which is awesome. And it is. Yeah. Which, one die yeah. plus three damage. Yeah, so he can trade out one of these two and become a real damage oriented type of uh, attacker. Or you can start oh. taking cloaks to soak up damage, be more support, things like that. And then also Virod, thy staff. 
Yes. <laughs> Just like the name of that one. <laughs> and then Jeremiah's got uh, some abilities to either uh, do a different type of smash, which this one's cool, which shows, to put that one out here just for a second. It has two things on it, which basically means to activate that, you have to put two action tokens at once. To allow me to refresh faster. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Hmm. And Matthias, of course. Oh, you already get your practice aim. Oh, there. yeah. <laughs> Range of two. And I can reroll one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Practice aim is nice. Yeah. Super nice. I'm yeah. Well, mine's called that. Vengeance, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. Uh, one thing that was not in this that's in the, the final um, pro, the postlude for Chapter 1 is that it also talks as he's going out of the, the uh, schoolhouse doors that the shrink roots and the gob can start shrinking and into the corners and escaping out to the you know things that are bur burst in. So you're not left with a whole bunch of enemies you gotta fight. That's the end. Is Brahm retreats, they retreat, and you escape the schoolhouse. And I take a nap over here. That's Yay. right. Exactly. <laughs> a dirt it's a good place. Nap. <laughs> so that is chapter one. That was fun. That actually oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, it was, it was so, close. It was so close. It, was, it came close a couple times, but that's the playthrough. Obviously, we did some of the spoilers, but it will unfold differently every time. And you'll see, even though we did find the two journals really quickly, and I swear that was not rigged, um, you can, since you don't know what the surprises are, sometimes you can get greedy and, you know, things can get rough. So even if we hadn't, if we, and if we hadn't done that, just trying to find the journals would have recreated what we did in the first place. So every single time you play chapter one, it's going to be different. So thank you all for playing. That was great. And I hope everyone out there has enjoyed watching the playthrough of Legends of Sleepy Hollow. Please back us so we can make this awesome game. Hooray. Do it! <laughs> <laughs>